Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. Today we are talking about tripods, in particular these two lightweight tripods. I get asked all the time, what do I use when I'm out in the field, especially since I do a lot of solo shooting and weight is a factor. And I've got these two here because they serve very different purposes and they're both quite unique and interesting. So I'm going to talk about them both. First we're going to start off with this one, it's the Manfrotto B Live video tripod and then afterwards we'll be talking about this from KNF Concept. It's called the KF25 Superlight Carbon Fiber. This is more for still photography. So let's kick off starting about the Manfrotto. Okay, so this is the Manfrotto B Free Live, sorry. It's the actual name, I think I said it different before. But what's great about this tripod is, well, first of all, it's the form factor. It's a tiny little tripod to have a fluid head. Um, great video tripod, fantastic size, very good weight. I mean, it does have some weight, which is what you want, especially if you're gonna be shooting video, you don't wanna have jerky images. But it's sort of found that, like, that balance between being too light uh, and too flimsy and having just enough weight and sort of strength and rigidity to make it work as a video tripod. Um, this is how it comes when it's folded up and then basically you reverse the legs out this way and you can extend those quite far. So I'll give it a shot now. It's just these simple little twist handles here. Twist and tight. Really good system tried and true. But as you can see, if I just put one leg out for now, there's your max height, which is about, I'd say it's around about 160 centimeters, something like that. Or maybe 165, somewhere in that. I haven't actually got the specs. You can find all that sort of stuff online, but it's fairly good height. Okay, so extended out max, as you can see. Now I stand at 178 centimeters tall, so that'll give you an idea of where that's at. Once you mount a camera on there, you're looking around about that sort of height range. Um, it's got this nice little fluid ball head on it. It can be adjusted. You got a fluid measure on there, um, smooth pan, smooth tilt, and I mean it can handle a fairly decent weight. I have put a very heavy lens on there. I did put the Tamron 160, 150 to 600 mil on there with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. Um, it's right, a little bit too heavy to make anything overly useful out of it. If you're going slow motion and you're doing very gentle pans, you can get away with it. But I wouldn't go that heavy. I'd say a 200 mil at most with a uh, a mirrorless camera. Um, I wouldn't go with anything too heavy. But for a tripod that you can just like fold up, stick in your backpack and it has like almost no weight to it, um, it's brilliant. It's really sturdy. It's quite robust. Um, it's not a lot you can really talk about with tripods. What I love about this is that the mounting plate will fit with other Manfrotto tripods. So that's great. You can switch it. You can just click it straight off of this by pressing buttons. <laughs> there we go and just slide that straight onto another Manfrotto video tripod without having to worry about changing your base plate. Where that's really good, especially if you're doing something where you need to run and gun a little bit more, and you're moving around quick, and then you've got like a, a solid tripod at your main spot where you are shooting. That's where it can be useful for that. As you've seen before, it folds up really nice. Um, build quality is great. I've had this for three years now, and uh, I've put it through a hell of a lot of tests from super winter conditions all the way to uh, rainforest and mountain stuff. So it's done a great job. It's very good, highly recommended. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but it's a fantastic bit of kit. So I'll put that to the side for a moment. Okay, now moving on to this little guy. This is the KNF Concept KF25. Now I had this sent out to me. Um, I didn't actually purchase this and um, I'm really, really happy with it in many ways. I've used it now for, uh, it's gotta be closing in on a year, almost a year now. And it's, uh, it's super functional. I mean, it has drawbacks. It's, it's got some, uh, some cheapness to it, but it has so many upsides that it's highly, highly recommended uh, if you're looking for something in this vein. Now, it's crazy light. That's the main thing, right? It's super compact, it's crazy light. Like if I could put that on my, my little finger there, I mean, I don't know exactly what it weighs. You can find that online, but it doesn't weigh much. Um, again, it's a similar to the Manfrotto in the sense that it reverses out like that. Have these little buttons to squeeze in uh, and you can adjust the sort of the angle of attack of your legs to various degrees using those and similar in that sense that you can just twist and fold out the legs now for such a little tripod it does have quite a large stance so if i was to put just one leg out for now it comes out to about there so like i said before i'm 178 centimeters the tripod is out to about there with the camera on top it's fantastic so it's a quite a long range, quite a lot of reach for such a little tripod. However, keep in mind that when you do extend it out, because it is such a lightweight tripod, that you are going to be inviting a lot of potential for shake. Now that does reduce 
Right now it looks terrible, right? <laughs> right now it just looks terrible. Um, once you get all the legs squared out and you add a little bit of weight to the tripod, um, that shake is going to be minimized quite a lot. So let's just do that now. Let's get this the whole way out. Okay, so once you get the whole way out and spread out, I mean, there's a lot less shake in there. And you can tighten this up, you can lower that down, and there's a hook underneath here, so you can hang a camera bag on that, or a weight bag, just to give yourself a little bit more stability. But yeah, it's fantastic in that sense. So, really, really cool um, folding carbon fiber, crazy light, decent amount of strength, and um, it's got this nice little ball head on here. It's got a little fluid level. Neighborhood dog just saying day. Um, you know, everything about it is kind of, kind of useful, even to the point of having this little KNF logo on the, uh, the grip tape for the camera here. I don't know about that. So it's nice, it's cool, but I think it's actually not making very good use of the space that's there. So that's one thing I did find as a bit of a drawback. Where this thing starts to get really unique and cool is, for example, you can take different sections of it off. So let's go ahead and take off this ball head. All right. So we can strip that off and you can change the head of the tripod. A lot of tripods can do that. However, with this one, you've got on the three legs here, you have this one leg here that has a little bit of a foam grip on it. You can twist this out too. All right, we'll just place that down on the ground for now. I won't fold that up. And now you have a walking stick and a monopod. Now that looks quite short, so what you can further do is you can actually take the center piece, this piece out here as well, by unscrewing this cap down here. Once you've taken those two apart, reattach it to here. And now you can attach this guy right there. But wait, there's still more. If you twist this little piece under here a little bit, you can further extend your range your monopod, taking it up to a very respectable height for a monopod. That's what makes this really unique. It's just simple little things like that, and then that weighs nothing. I mean, that is so light. It's so light that the the ball head is heavy, even up to about in the balancing point, sort of around, around there. So, yeah, that's a really cool bit of kit. It's a fantastic idea to put into a tripod to make it into a monopod. Um, like I say, I've used this even just as a walking stick when I've been uh, on treks as well. So I've had the camera and everything mount, everything packed away, and I've just got this as a little little trekking pole. Um, just to lower, you know, lessen the amount of gear I've got to carry on some of those treks. So that's great too. KNF Concept have really done a great job with this. It's some of the things are cheap on it. You know, they've they've had to find ways to cut the budget. Obviously, you can see that in some things. You know, some things that have been glued glued on and have sort of come apart. Um, nothing that's destroyed it and made it so I couldn't use it. I've had to just sort of re-glue a couple of things together um, here and there. But I've, I've been quite um, quite mean to this tripod. Really put it through a lot of hard tests. And for it to hold up the way it has held up, um, yeah, I got really no complaints, even especially at the price point that they do sell these at, which is a very reasonable price. So if you are looking for a lightweight photo tripod, this is one to really take a good look at. If you're looking for video tripods and you want to go lightweight, just don't look past the Be Free Live by Manfrotto. That's that's the one, just get that one. Um, as far as uh, saying that this is the best tripod out there, um, these are the best that I've used. I've used various other ones and these are the best I've used. There may be others that are even better. If they are, drop comments, let us all know. I'd love to see that. But as far as I've had experience with a lot of lightweight tripods, uh, especially budget tripods, these have come in fantastic and have uh, really, really held up against some pretty heavy torture. So that's my two cents. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal, and um, happy shooting.